On October 8, 2024, the Chilean army conducted an extensive technical and tactical evaluation in the unforgiving terrain of the Antofagasta Desert, aimed at assessing the performance of its Leopard 2A4 tank crews. Organized by the 1st Army Division and executed by the 3rd Armored Brigade La Concepcion, this exercise gathered tank crews from across the country, ranging from Arica in the north to Punta Arenas in the south. A key highlight of the event was a tank duel, where two crews faced off using the Saab BT-46 laser simulation system, providing a realistic combat scenario. The primary goal of this intensive exercise was to evaluate the level of training and readiness achieved by the Chilean Army's armored units in 2024. It was designed to test the crew's ability to operate the Leopard 2A4 tank in various challenging environments, with an emphasis on both tactical skills and physical endurance. The event also demonstrated the true power of the Leopard 2A4's firepower, proving that the effectiveness of the tank lies not just in its advanced technology but in the expertise of its operators. The Leopard 2A4, developed by Germany's Krauss Maffei Wegmann, has proven itself as one of the most formidable main battle tanks since its introduction in 1979. The Chilean army has relied on this robust weapon system since the early 2000s, operating around 40 units in the demanding environments of northern Chile. The Leopard 2A4's exceptional combination of firepower, protection, and mobility makes it a cornerstone of Chile's armored forces. Equipped with a 120mm smoothbore gun designed by Rainmetal, the Leopard 2A4 can strike mobile targets up to 5,000 meters away, using both APFSDSD and Heat MPT munitions. The tank's digital fire control system enhances its targeting precision, while the coaxial 7.62mm machine gun provides additional fire support. The Leopard 2A4 is also fitted with smoke grenade launchers, which can obscure its movements and offer tactical advantages during combat. With its powerful MTU MB873 diesel engine, the Leopard 2A4 can reach speeds of up to 72 km per hour, allowing it to traverse challenging terrain and overcome obstacles with ease. The tank's multi-layer armor and internal lining offer enhanced protection against enemy fire and fragmentation, ensuring crew safety even in the most hostile environments. The true strength of the Leopard 2A4 lies in the hands of its operators. As Lt. Col. Felipe Azacar, the exercise coordinator, explained, the focus of the evaluation was to verify the mastery of procedures and skills learned by the crews during their training. This included a variety of realistic scenarios, such as nighttime operations, tank robustness tests, precise driving exercises, and simulated tank-to-tank -tank combat using the Saab BT-46 laser system. Tank crews were also challenged to perform complex tasks like onboard navigation, first aid, and track disassembly. One of the most demanding aspects of the exercise was the physical and emotional endurance required to complete night marches, further emphasizing the importance of mental resilience in combat scenarios. One of the most exciting features of the evaluation was the tank duel where two crews used the Saab BT-46 laser simulation system. This cutting-edge technology allowed for realistic simulated combat, where each crew could test their ability to neutralize an opponent in a controlled but dynamic environment. The system provided instant feedback on the accuracy of shots, the effectiveness of maneuvers, and overall combat readiness, making it an invaluable training tool for modern tank warfare. First Sergeant Johannes Gill, an instructor at the Armored Combat Training Center, Seekambak, emphasize the significance of this approach to training. This system helps crews engage in tank-to-tank -tank combat simulations, providing a deeper understanding of battlefield tactics and helping them develop the necessary skills to outmaneuver and eliminate enemy threats, he explained. At the end of the exercise, several crews were recognized for their exceptional performance, including Armored Group No. 9 Vencedors from the 1st Armored Brigade of Quirasiers. Sub-Lieutenant Francisco Fernandez, commander of the winning crew, noted that the exercise significantly enhanced his unit's operational expertise. This evaluation was a critical learning experience. It has fine-tuned our skills, improved our teamwork, and given us the confidence to handle future challenges more effectively, he said. Beyond the immediate results of the exercise, this evaluation highlighted the importance of continuous training for military readiness. It reinforced that effective armored warfare is not solely reliant on advanced technology, but also on the professionalism, technical skill, and mental fortitude of the soldiers operating these machines. Through such rigorous exercises, the Chilean army ensures that its Leopard 2A4 crews are always ready to face future military challenges with the highest level of preparedness. These evaluations not only strengthen the army's tactical and technical capabilities, but also foster camaraderie and resilience among its soldiers.
the experience gained in the Antofagasta Desert underscores the Chilean army's commitment to excellence, ensuring that its armored units remain among the most advanced and capable forces in Latin America.